Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen how we can create the decorate decorators using a function we have seen right and we have created a decorator for a class using this function and now we can also do another thing also for this one what we can see is we can create a decorator factory for that one so that we can send the deck which type of decorator is necessary for this one we can send the type of decorator decorator for that one so let's see how I can do so let's see we can do this one as in a in a different behavior such a way that for example I have I will write function logger okay so I will do like this and instead of returning uh, returning this one what I will try to do is I will return an anonymous function instead of I will return an anonymous function for this one okay I will return an anonymous function to this one so and I will do this so here what I will try to do is I will try to call this function not the another not the constructor function I will call this function so here if I call this function now what what this one will return it will return the same thing the previous thing only how we have how I have written that one it will return the same thing only. so I am returning an anonymous function for this one so that I can I can do like this so now if I check the output here if I check the if I check the output so if we check the output here if I check the output here so here you will be able to see I am getting the same output right so I am getting the same output now you can understand that what is the benefit of using like this okay you will be able to understand that what is the use of uh, using using this uh, function inside a function what is the benefit of using this one so I can tell you that this one will be useful that you can send your own parameter something like log string of type strings okay I can send the parameter here I will be sending the parameter logging for the class person okay I can I can send the own string for this one so that I can use this string and I can print the string here so I can send the custom defined data to this function so that this function we in in the in the decorator function we can use the data what I, what I have sent from the decorator I can use that one in the decorator directly and now if you see the output here if you see the output here I am getting the output that logging for the class person I am able to see the output here so in this way so we can create a decorator factory so actually this one is a factory something it is created it is sending the it is generating the decorator it's not generating anything it is generating the decorator so that's why you can call it this one as a decorator factory so this decorator factory is responsible for sending the decorator and also from here instead of logger instead of calling just uh, like this we are calling this function so that we are sending our custom defined data from this so so we use for any class or anything for any class this decorator we can send our custom data for that one okay in this way we can also use the we can also create the decorators using the decorator factories this one is a nothing but what we can say is creating a decorator with the decorator factories so if you uh, if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comment below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you